In today's video, I'll be building a home for two LEGO figures. This being the Series 8 Butcher and the Series 4 Artist. And they're gonna both have a bit of a home. On the lower level, I will be making the bit of a butcher, so the shop front. And in the second level, I'll be making a staircase. Uh, no, I'll, on the first level, I'll be making a staircase to the second level for the artist. Um, I'm surrounding the staircase with a bit of magenta. So there will be the staircase in there. And the blue part is an outline for where eventually the butcher will be, well, seated. Um, so for a bit of an awning, for a good design, I'm going to choose a bit of a tan color. Because I personally think it's missing in my city and it looks quite nice. So I'm also insetting the windows a bit because it is better in that opinion. So it gives a bit of depth. Also making some um, dark gray walls for where the staircase will be. And also some masonry bricks and some detailing. Just because probably that part of the build will be seen. Um, showing that the back wall will be removable in a bit. And I wanted to tell you a bit about the foundation that I have in here. Because giving a bit of a foundation color, it makes the build look way better, in my opinion. Sometimes the foundation can ruin a build, but in some of these neutral colors, giving a light gray to the tan will make it way better. So now for wall color, I originally chose to go with white, but I realized that the white would be a bit, um, well, monotone. So I chose to go with a bit of a light aqua. Sadly, I didn't have enough for the whole build to be light aqua, so just the part of the staircase. So the back wall will still be white, sadly. Um, I also put a bit of a sticker on there, or from a set that my sister had. Um, so that's where the flamingo comes in. Also, door can open, and you see how high it is. Um, and because it's a bit higher, we also going to need to add a bit of foundation on the other walls. Keeping in mind that one of the walls will be removable, so I won't put the foundation in there yet. Um, putting the last layer on the wall, so that it's a bit more level. And next on, I will do the back wall. Using these jumper plates, which really work well. Making sure that it's sturdy enough. Also making the wall a bit higher. Putting a bit of an awning on there. And then it's for tiling the roof off. Because there will be a second floor, and the second floor will also be removable. So, putting tiles on there, I'm certain that the build won't stuck, won't stick to this build. So, making sure that the parts are aligned properly so that they won't shake about. And for the back wall, I need to lower it a little bit, put cheese slopes on there, so that it's easier to remove this one. As you can see, right there. And that's it for this part. Now for the second layer. So starting with a bit of a plate for layer 2. Adding some of windows. Um, you see I've just placed them for the simple locations. Now making some walls. But realizing that simple bricks stacked aren't the way to go. So I use some masonry bricks. But this still gives up a bit of a flat issue. So I indented the walls using those jumpers you saw. And... This gives out a bit of a detail, which looks way better, in my opinion, than before. Here you can see a bit of how it would look, eventually. But I thought it needed some adjustments, so I built another bit of a rim. Um, going here for placing where the door sh should be. I got this nice door somewhere. Um, also using those magenta parts for um, a bit of a line where a room should be. I switched up the doors because it... In my opinion, it looks better. Deciding on what wall that should be, I did go with dark blue and going with white with the rest of it. Um, now, again, putting out a bit of a trim, a wooden trim in this case. It, it just frames the building a bit better, especially from viewing it from the inside. So, that's what I will be doing here. Also, keep in mind, I will be removing the back wall. So, oh, and I'm replacing something because it wasn't sturdy enough. It still isn't, but it's fine. Um, I will now get a bit of a basket, I believe. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. 
Um, so, building the walls for a bit, you see they have a bit of an overhang. So here I get my bucket of little um, brown pieces, trying to find the pieces I need, which is a grueling process. But it's fine, because I finally found them. Yeah, this is really the fun bit. Cleaning everything up. Especially since over there, two things fall, fell off. So, a lot of cleaning. But now for the rest. So, placing some tiles so that this back wall could be removable. Also adding a bit of a top trim, because... Just making the walls higher will look a bit better and it will make the build sturdier. You see I picked some pieces. I'm running low on my white pieces because most of them have stickers or prints on them. But I still have enough finally. Also, again, adding these G slopes so that the wall is removable. Um, here you can see that it fits a bit where how it looks. And the figures. And I will, again, tile this one off. So that everything will be easy to remove. Which, because I will also be building a roof of it. Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm, I know what I did. I made it too low. Um, for the roof, it's not too difficult. Just adding some plates, adding a bit of a detail with these um, inverted slopes and some detailing. Making it a bit sturdy and also, uh, which you'll see in a minute, just... Picking up some red bricks so that it will be fitted easily. Also with those little fence pieces at the front. Just to give it a bit of a detail. And that's it for now. For the interior. So now we've, uh, we're have we going to a bit of the interior. As you can see this guy he comes with a really cool steak piece. And so that needs to be spread out. So first off. Well, let's pick up my meat collection. I have some of these red hot dogs pieces, uh, pretty uh, a lot of them. Also, I have a few of the black ones, which look pretty cool, which are probably like really rare. And I also have some of the turkey pieces, so those will be used. Now, dropping them all in, as you can see, I will need to make spaces for all of them. So I'm starting with a bit of a turkey contraption, and also some of the shop fronts. It's probably not good to have the meat somewhere in there, but that's fine. Um, also made a few other points of interest, which you can see now just tiling off the ground. I made a big bit of a bit for the black um, steak, oh, not steaks, for black sausages, and also the steak is on the register. It looks really cool. Um, So now for the artist, he will have the second floor. Turning around will look pretty cool. Um, the first part, uh, on the bit of the gray, taking off the roof of course, but on the bit of the gray area, I started by making a, uh, a staircase, which isn't that interesting, it's just a couple of gray bricks. I don't even think I'll show you that, but mm, probably not. Um, I made a couple of a staircase, and now for the second layer, where you can see I've put a bed in there, and I made sure because it's an artist, so that he has multiple different colors in his home as an artistic choice. So you'll see some blue, some magenta, pink, and also these this cute orange part, making him a bit of television, and the blue walls, of course. And for the side wall, I thought of this. So. That was it for that was it for the build I showed you. Um, I did a bit of a different style comparing compared to the last few ones, and I'm wanting them to know which one is your favorite style. Is it the one where I completely sh show the build process, the one where I simply show the end product, um, the one where I show all the individual stages as they are, but not the complete process, or whatever mix in between that they are. I will be putting up some um, recommendations of which of the videos 
you would want to see which characters will be the new ones. And I will now show you, instead of this clip, a bit of where I'm going to put this build. And the next one will probably be, well, I'm going to hint it, I've already built it. But I'm going to hint it in this video. So, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.